for me, resilience means that no matter what happens, no matter how many times you're going to get knocked down, all the hardships that you go through, you're going to just keep getting back up. I know what it's like to get knocked down. She's okay. Oh no. But I choose to pick myself back up again and again. I will survive whatever life throws at me. It's my resilience. It's mine. You keep putting your head down and you keep chugging along and you get back up and you, you find a way to keep fighting forward until you get to the other side, until you get that win. But even off court, um, yeah, if you go through any tough times in life, um, been through having to compete as a college athlete and study academics and try and balance on the pro tour and, and somehow made it out alive, even though every single day I felt like I was hanging on by a thread. Um, but it's just those that kind of makes you a tougher person and a more resilient person and all of those kind of tough times that you battle back from and you just get back up and you don't admit defeat and you know that you're going to find a way no matter how tough or dark of a time it is. It, it really shows a test to kind of your, your mental strength or physical strength and just like how resilient you are as a human being. With my injury and being out for 10 months, it was probably the toughest time that I ever had to go through as an athlete and as a person. And I think it definitely is a long, long, dark tunnel. The toughest part for me in my injury was around the six, seven month mark when I was normal enough to do basic human things and and but I just was not able to play squash and kind of the squash fitness was just not coming back. The squash movements, the strength to be able to move around the court and be a squash player was pretty stagnant. And at that point in time, you're still far away from being able to come back as a player, even though you've already endured about six, seven months. And I'm thinking, okay, like, I originally planned to come back nine months after my injury and I wanted to come back for the world championships in December of that year. And so I just felt that time, the clock was slowly ticking down and I wasn't progressing at the rate that I wanted to. And so that put a massive strain on me and it was really just isolating and it made me feel really alone and hopeless in the point where I, I didn't know what to do. And it was, it was, it was tough. It was really, really tough because by that point the season had started and I wasn't, I wanted to compete with my peers, but <laughs> I just had to sit and watch and know that I had so far to go, so far to go. I got, I got pretty low. Um, everybody kind of sees me as this, it, it's funny because people all came up to me throughout the injury and they're like, oh, you're doing, you seem to be doing really, really well. And I was like, well, thank you. Um, I'm obviously not going to show you how much I'm crying behind the scenes. But um, there was a point in time when I came down to, I think my lowest point was September, beginning of October in um, 2017. And the season had just started. All the players were... At the U.S. Open, I came down to the U.S. Open to do some commentary to see um, see all the players, catch up with everybody, and and by then I was I should have been back on court, just at least moving, but I, I really couldn't, and I needed that specific that squash specific physical therapy and rehab and training for that that I just did not have, and I was so lost and hopeless and I remember I would I would show up at the US Open all happy and everything and then I pretty much cried every single day that week down in Philly and it was probably the hardest time that I had to ever go through. I think there's definitely a bit of a PTSD or trauma involved. It's a 
it's a traumatic injury and it, it's one of those injuries that a lot of people <laughs> can't come back from and the fact that I did it in a squash movement on court is pretty dramatizing and you know there is definitely I think even if even if I know that I'm fully healed subconsciously there's always going to be protection around that area um, because there is fear behind it of what if I'm going to do it again or what if I'm going to do the other one and so it, you just have to spend a lot of time reassuring yourself and having your team, like my team, reassuring me that it's going to be okay, that you're you're fine, you're healthy, and that you can just let go of any sort of fear and tension that you have and just be able to play freely. What first got me out of it was accepting that I wasn't going to be ready for the World Championships in December and that it was okay to prolong my rehab process for another month. I mean, I was out for nine months. What's another month gonna do? And that was also around the time where I found Joe Zaret, and he kind of gave me just a massive like weight lifted off my shoulder when I went to him and he put me through a workout and I realized just how bad I was, how far away from um, where I should have been. And he noticed it too. And he was like, what have you been doing? And I was like, and I just broke down and I told him, I was like, I have no idea. And it was almost that I had to let go of any sort of control I had on the situation and just put my faith in other people in, in my team to do the best thing for me in the sense that they were going to help me come back. I definitely saw another side of being a professional athlete when I got injured. Uh, it's not all about winning titles and going to great places, but when you get injured, the, a lot goes on behind the scenes. And I did have within the first week of getting injured, I had a sponsor drop me. So it kind of just shows you that sometimes people don't actually care about you as a person and you're just seen as a commodity and the fact that you can't really um, bring the value to their brand by playing on tour and and representing their company then you're not needed so goodbye and 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 that was tough it's it was tough to financially fortunately I had a lot of my other sponsors that still backed me and believed in me and they knew that when I was gonna come back I was gonna come back stronger and so during that time they, they supported me and for that I'm forever grateful.